Okay, time for hair. And the first thing to do here is that I have to deal with this. This is a, a situation that we've got. Um, I start with my spray bottle, water. Always label your spray bottles, chemistry. High school chemistry, guys. Okay. Spraying the water. And then I've got the curling iron heating up and we're going to use the hair dryer. short I just got them cut and so I blow it straight down and don't put a whole lot of bump in them so that with the round brush so that they don't shrink up and be too short now in the morning if I start with a clean head of hair then I will just do a rough blowout first and then let's just put some beachy waves in the hair Whew, it's a little bit staticky okay so curling iron has been heated up. I have a cheap, long, one and a quarter inch curling iron from Amazon, and I love it. And then I start with the top and move to the back, and then we go really, fairly quickly. And then I clamp it down low, leave the ends out. See how I got that, leaving the ends out? And then I take it out and then pull it straight. Did you see how that worked? Some people are really precise in sectioning off their hair and stuff. I guess I probably should be, but I don't have the patience. All right, I left the end out, pulled that down. And I just pick up the section, like while the, while the section is in the curling iron, I pick up the section right beneath it, and that way I don't have to use combs and such. And then I pull that down. That gets that little bit of a straight, straighter end which makes it look beachy waves not 1980 uh dallas soap opera really hot curling iron and so it goes really fast and then again once the hair is in the curling iron i pull that section right underneath i also you'll notice i threw the other side of my hair that's not getting curled over my shoulder so that that's already separate all right, and then we will move. Then I throw these curls to the back so I know what's been curled, and I pull this forward. So we've got those. So all in the back now is curled hair. And then we will start back to front. I sometimes worry that I will lose motivation if I start front to back. I have to say with all these Zoom meetings, I've been known to possibly occasionally, not very often, do some Zoom meetings without the back of my hair being done. Not gonna lie. Speaking about Zoom meetings, you know, I have started my calendar, like yours I'm sure, can be all day back-to-back -back Zoom meetings. And I have started just letting folks know that I'll be right back and I might need to, I don't always tell them, but I might need to fill out my coffee, I might need to have a bio break, but just sitting there, I might just need a leg stretch, but just sitting there all day through Zoom calls can't be healthy for our bodies. And I also, as a leader, want to demonstrate to people that that's okay to occasionally address something in your life, to take care of your biological needs because we're biological entities. Um, and then I also, another thing that I've started to do is occasionally just stand up during my Zoom meeting to normalize that behavior so that people feel like it's okay, it's not awkward, you don't have to turn your camera off, um, but go ahead and stand up. But speaking about cameras, I do ask my organization to use their cameras. I think it's really important for us to be able to see each other. You get some of the nonverbals, you get the body language, and I think it makes it easier for folks to stay engaged. And so I ask folks, unless it's absolutely not possible,
for whatever reason in the moment to have that camera on. I'm sure that makes me a little bit less popular. Okay, so basic curls are done. And then I like to go back and just grab a few of these top sections, add a little bit of volume and height. Just a few curls closer up to the crown because most of the other curls that we had were lower. And I do it in the same way, but in smaller sections higher up. This side, this is good if you've got a few layers near the top because then it'll allow you to have a little bit of more oomph up there. All right, normally my hair will take no longer than five minutes. Who has time for it? Okay, so curls done, curling iron unplugged. I always unplug all of my hair appliances because I don't know if they got turned off. I just like to make sure that they are unplugged. All right, and so then I just shake this out. I don't use a hair dry, or a brush. I just shake it out, and then we'll put a tiny bit of spray on it, leave it mostly soft. <laughs> the spray that the spray that I'm enjoying right now is this Kristen S spray from Target. It's the Beach Wave spray, the um, Soft Shine Beach Wave spray. And what I like about this is that the mist just comes out so fine that it doesn't kind of interrupt the way that you've done your hair or change it or weight it down. And so I fluff it a little bit, blow that in. Tousle it and then we're done. And this is our look for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. We'll do this again soon. Have a great work day and happy time change.